have a lot to talk about, so I want to jump right into your forecast. We'll start your skycast off at 10 o'clock, which shows the snow that we have falling out there right now, taking you into the next couple of hours. The snow is going to continue, but through midnight, it's going to become a bit spottier. It's going to begin to lose a bit of its intensity, and it will completely come to an end as we head into your early Saturday morning. Taking you through about 7 a.m., we are expecting all of the showers to end, not just across southern Colorado, but in the high country as well. We will wake up to sunshine tomorrow, and the best part about tomorrow, a lot less wind in comparison to what we had out there today, so definitely some good news there. As we take you into the afternoon, here's a look at lunchtime. We'll keep the clear skies in place. Despite all of the sunshine we're going to see tomorrow, though, it's not going to end up being too warm. We'll keep clear skies around through 5 o'clock, but I want to show you your temperatures now. Temperatures tonight are going to plunge. Once this system moves out of here, skies will clear overnight, and that is going to allow the temperature to really drop. We're going to fall to 12 degrees. 12 degrees, that's it, in Colorado Springs. 16 is what we'll end up with in Pueblo with temperatures in the teens for the southeastern corner of the state. It's much colder in the mountains, though, dropping into the single digits from Leadville to Gunnison and into Alamosa. So, needless to say, if you are heading anywhere early tomorrow, you are going to need to layer up. High temperatures tomorrow are not going to rebound very much. 37 is all we'll end up with in Colorado Springs, 38 in Pueblo. So, again, despite the fact that we'll have plenty of sunshine tomorrow, it's really not going to warm up much. The sun should help, though, to clean up the roads a little bit. Around Colorado Springs, the Pikes Peak region, we could end up with up to an inch of snow as the system moves over tonight. All of that, though, should get out of here fairly quickly tomorrow morning. But tomorrow afternoon, it is going to stay chilly. So, again, if you are heading anywhere tomorrow, you are going to need to bundle up. Temperatures on Sunday, though, you can leave the jacket behind. 50 degrees is what we'll end up with, and we'll keep 50 degree temperatures through Tuesday. Take a look at your Thanksgiving Day forecast, though. Things take a turn by the middle to later part of the work week next week. 32 degrees on Thursday, then 28 degrees. That's your high temperature. On Friday, we have some much colder air heading our way, and it looks like Thursday for most of the day, it's going to be pretty snowy, which unfortunately means we are expecting to see some travel issues for holiday travelers. So again, stick with your Storm Checker 13 weather team. We'll keep you ahead of this storm. We'll continue tracking it very closely, updating the forecast frequently throughout the day. Pueblo 38 degrees tomorrow, 55 on Sunday. 60 will be your high temperature Monday. We'll drop it back into the 50s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in Pueblo. You're not escaping the cold this time either. 38 degrees for your Thanksgiving Day Friday, 32 in Canyon City. Tomorrow, 42, 56 on Sunday with upper 50s lasting through Tuesday. We'll drop it into the 30s Thursday and we'll stay there on Friday. And in Teller County, tomorrow, 34, 45 on Sunday sounds awfully nice. We'll keep the 40s in place through Monday and Tuesday and then we'll drop it into the 20s by Thanksgiving. A 40% chance that we will be tracking snow and it does look like we are going to see accumulating snow. Now, take this with a grain of salt. This is how much snow we could end up with as we take you into next Thursday. Of course, this is one model's suggestion of what we could end up with, and it's saying about one to two inches from Pueblo to Colorado Springs. Here's another model that's giving you a completely different number. So this is one of the reasons why I'm telling you that it's a little too early to start talking about totals because models have no idea what they want to do with this storm. There's still several days for this storm system to change speeds, change tracks, get more intense weekend. So stick with us here over the next couple of days. We are going to work very hard to narrow down those numbers and, of course, keep you ahead of the storm. But put it in the back of your mind. Thursday may not be the the most ideal travel day. Ah, and even the turkey is shivering in your graphic that, there. That's my favorite graphic of the whole <laughs> year.